Solve the following exponential equations. Round your answers to three decimal places. All right, so when we need to solve an exponential equation, the first thing that we want to do is isolate the exponential part. So I need to get this 8 to the 4x by itself. And once that happens, I'll convert it to a logarithmic form and use the change of base rule. All right, so what I'll do first is subtract 10 from both sides. So then I have 8 to the 4x is equal to 37. Now let's convert this to a logarithmic form. So then 4x would equal the log base 8 of 37. Now, using the change of base rule, I can write that as 4x equals log 37 over log 8. But I really wanted x, so I will divide by 4. So then x is equal to log 37 oh, divided by log 8, all divided by 4. Now, on the calculator, we have to be careful how we input that, of course. So I'll open a quantity, log 37. Now, notice that you remember when, it, when you type in that log, it opens another quantity. So let's close that logarithm, divide by log 8, close that logarithm. Now, remember, I opened the numerator. All right, I have this opening parenthesis over on the left. So now let's close the numerator and divide by 4. And we get 0.434 approximately. Exercise B. 5 times 3 to the x plus 7 is equal to 30. So again, I want to isolate the exponential part. The exponential part is being multiplied by 5. I'll divide by 5. Yielding 3 raised to the x plus 7 power is equal to 6. Convert this to a logarithmic form. x plus 7 is equal to the log base 3 of 6. Change of base rule. x plus 7 is equal to log 6 divided by log 3. And finally, let's subtract 7 from both sides. So then x would equal log 6 over log 3, and then subtract 7. Again, on the calculator, let's be careful how we input that. All right, so log 6, close off the logarithm, divide by log 3, close off the logarithm, and now subtract 7. All right, the calculator will evaluate the logarithms first, then the division following order of operations, then subtraction. And that's negative 0.5, I'm sorry, negative 5.369. Four raised to the x, x squared minus five power is equal to 256. We already have the exponential isolated, so what I will do here is simply convert it to a logarithmic form. So then x squared minus five would equal the log base four of 256. Now, you might recognize this. Log base 4 of 256 is exactly 4. And if you don't recognize this, remember you can convert that to the, using the change of base rule, you could convert that to log of 256 over log of 4. And on the calculator, we can find that that is exactly 4. 
So I have x squared minus 5 equals 4. Now I recognize this as a, situ a quadratic equation where I can use the um, square root property. So I'll add 5 to both sides and x squared equals 9 which implies that x is the positive or negative square root of 9 and so x is positive or negative 3.